AGA TV. I'm never finished, so they say I flow infinite. When you think I'm at the end of my road, I'm just beginning. Look how I bring it to uh, We're out here at Mount Brighton today with our state finals for the high school border cross finals. And, uh... Thankfully, we finally got some snow on the ground, some features in the course. AGA TV. An exceptionally warm winter has left many action sports goers high and dry, but the lack of snow did not stop the Michigan High School Snowboarding Association from holding its state championship at Mount Brighton. With the help of winter's heaviest snowfall, students from multiple high schools in the MHSSA division came out to compete in individual and team border cross races. We had the opportunity to learn more about the state competition's course. The courses are safe, um, the courses are competitive. Uh, we organize the schedules and all that stuff coming into the season through our districts and regional meets which whittles it down to the two teams that we send to states. You've got four to five riders on the course at the same time. The course is made up of what are called features, things like rollers, jumps, banked turns. We have an off-camber corner at the top. That's a new feature for the day-to-day. -day. We've stretched the course farther than we could because of the snow that we're finally getting today and it turned out pretty good. Today's course is probably, without a doubt, one of the best that the Mount Brighton is able to put up in the last 10 years. The competition started off with individual races where riders competed in groups of four. The top riders from each race advanced to the next round until the top four snowboarders were determined. Then it was on to the state championships. The ladies high school teams consisted of Howell, Pinckney, Lakeland and Wald Lake, while the boys finalists were Wald Lake, Lakeland, Catholic Central and Heartland. With the snow in the air and the state title on the line, the riders cruised through the course some more easily than others, each giving it their best, all while having fun. The team scores were close, but Heartland came away with the win, while Catholic Central took second place. Ben Frost from Catholic Central came away with first place in the individual races. We caught up with a few of the athletes about participating in the annual event. Uh, I think there's a lot more competition in border cross because you're out there with all the riders at the same time going down a course at really high speed. It's kind of an adrenaline rush, actually. Uh, you know, when you're racing, you really just want to shoot for that first and just get that whole shot, and really, you're set from there. This is a great time. You make a lot of good friends from other teams and stuff, so it's awesome. For more information about upcoming events, go to aganation.com. AGA TV. Find it first at aganation.com. Let your imagining soar with me to a magnanimously magnificent mashup deeply ingrained in our brain's pleasure center. The simple joy of sublimity, where a decidedly delicious any size icy cold Coca-Cola soft drink or sweet tea is just a dollar.